Hello and welcome back to an all new video from Switch and Lever. In this episode we'll take a look at how to make a cheap emergency USB charger without having to run out with a kite in a thunderstorm. Sometimes you're undoubtedly going to find yourself in situations where you're going to be away from the electrical grid, yet need to power electrical devices. Sure, you could use expensive power banks or solar chargers, but being both cheap and an avid hiker, I knew there was a better way. You're going to start by picking up a car cigarette lighter to USB converter. These are really dirt cheap. This particular one was about $2, but you can find them even cheaper. Next, you're going to want a holder for 8 AA batteries. Why 8? Well, because the converter runs on 12 volt, and 8 AA batteries at 1.5 volts each gives exactly 12 volts. You may need a connector to run from the battery holder to the converter, as well as a spare female USB port. This one I salvaged from an old computer. Since you probably don't want the charger to run constantly when nothing is plugged in, you're going to want an on-off switch as well. And finally, you're going to need an enclosure to put all of this into. This is a waterproof tackle box bought from a dollar store, but you could really use anything which will house the electronics. Start by inserting the batteries into the holder, attach the connector to the holder and touch the leads to the point and the little wings on the USB converter. Power, which is the red wire, should be going to the tip of the converter and ground, the black wire, should be going to one of the wings. If the little LED lights up, you know everything works as it should and you can proceed. Next, you're going to break open the converter. How to do this may differ per model, but most cheap ones can easily be pried apart with a screwdriver. Though, be careful not to harm the circuit board inside. You can cut off the spring and the wings to length, just leave enough to solder wires to. Measure the components which will fit through the enclosure, i.e. the USB port and the on-off switch. Plan out where you want them and cut holes through the enclosure to fit them properly. Now for the fun part, break out your soldering iron and tin all the leads on the USB port and 5 leads on a ribbon cable. Finally, solder them together. Fit the USB port into the enclosure and solder the wires to the corresponding connections on the converter circuit board. Solder a wire going from the switch to the power connector on the converter. Remember that that's the tip with the spring. Solder the opposing side of the switch to one of the leads on the battery holder connector and the other side of that to one of the wings on the converter. You have now completed the circuit and made it possible to turn the charger on and off. Hook up the batteries to make sure that everything is working properly. If the little LED lights up, we're all good. Time to secure everything in place, and what better way to do that than our best friend, the hot glue gun. Put the liberal application in and seal up all open connection points so nothing has a chance to short circuit when you close up the enclosure. In this case I also put in a small MDF divider to help keep the battery holder in place as I didn't want to have it rattle around in the enclosure. Finally, let's close up that enclosure and let's take it for a test drive. It works! With the amount of power 8 AA batteries can provide, you should be able to charge your camera or phone at least a few times before the batteries run out. Just remember to turn it off once the charging is done, so you don't drain the batteries prematurely. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe.
Also be sure to check out the Switch and Lever online store where you can get plans and models of past projects or even to donate a buck or two if you feel like supporting the channel in other ways. See you next time!